and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Arcane Noxus. It's Arcane Knight. That means that we are going to be playing Jinx and Vi together. Now, there are other champions that are going to be in the TV show Arcane that's coming out, I believe, November 6th, if I remember correctly. Um, so just a couple of days away from whenever we're recording this. Uh, but we've had a lot of people ask for a Jinx Vi deck um, for the TV, you know, to get some hype going for the TV show Arcane. And that's what we're doing. It's Arcane Knight. We are playing three separate decks all with Jinx and Vi. So like I said, I know there's other champions, but we're not playing the other champions. We're just going to be playing Jinx and Vi. And so we got three different decks with Jinx and Vi. They're both in Piltover and Zons. So we, you know, we can kind of choose our secondary region. And so there's kind of three different ones that I wanted to play. So we're playing them all tonight. We're going to have Jinx Vi with Moxus, Jinx Vi with Shadow Isles, with Catalog of Regrets, and Jinx Vi with Bandle City with all the manifest stuff. So this is going to be the first one, though. This one's going to be like the biggest or like the, the most Jinx of the decks because you know Jinx wants to see your hand empty. This deck's going to have a lot of discard things to kind of help empty our hand. Now, even though I say that, a lot of the discard things are then immediately redrawing, so we're not really losing that kind of card advantage. You know, like Grave Physician, Zonite Urchin, Sump Treasure, Rummage. These all discard cards and then draw cards afterwards. So we're going to be able to rifle through the deck. Um, so we that's what we're kind of doing. We, we got cards that we discard with, cards that we want to discard, like, you know, uh, like Ballistic Bot creating Ignitions, the Boom 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 creating the Flame Chompers. I just realized the Flame Chompers has an exclamation point. <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed that or not, but that's cool. Um, Fallen Rider, that kind of stuff. So kind of combining those together, we got one, as far as like finishing the games out, we got like one Ambush that could go really cool with like a big Ballistic Bot or with a large Vi just to ambush them. A couple copies of Captain Farron is going to be our other way to really finish out games. Captain Farron's a great finisher, but the problem with Captain Farron and most 8-drops is that if you have it early in your hand, you know, you draw Captain Farron right after you mulligan, it's kind of stuck in your hand for a really long time, and that can be a pretty big downside. But playing this with all these cards that discard and draw means that if we you know, do our mulligans, and then we find a Captain Farron right away, we can simply discard that Captain Farron, draw other stuff, and kind of, and just kind of keep digging, and that's why we're playing two, so I don't really have to worry about, like, discard, you know, if we only had one Farron, then you'd be like, oh man, we don't want to discard our only Captain Farron, because then we won't have it later. Playing two means that if we do draw one early, we can discard it, and still have the chance to find the second one. All right, so let's get to it. Let's try it out. Arcane Noxus. That's what we're just calling these decks. Just calling them Arcane decks instead of saying Jinx Vi for all of them. Uh, but all three of these are going to be uh, Jinx Vi decks. We'll put our record back up there now. And we got Poppy Zed. Poppy Zed's going to be awesome. I'm going to keep this hand. This hand looks good. This could kill a Zed. This could block something. Do I want to trade Reborn Grenadier for Poro Cannon or for this thing? Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Get rid of that. Fallen Rider. Could just play the Fallen Rider instead. Ooh. Daring Poro does a great job blocking Green Glade Duo. So I didn't play anything right there because I want to keep two spell mana available for Mystic Shots. Huh. Okay. Yeah, you think they have Poppy? Good chance of that. All right, team, adventure time. Let's give this a try. Alright, so they stopped one of them. Still 
will block the other. And just block and block. I kind of feel like they're going to... Like, there's a good chance that the Rangers resolve here. And so I want to block with the 4-2 on the 4-3 because of Rangers resolve. Instead of blocking with the 3-1. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, what do we have for removal? So just Mystic Shot is my only thing. If I if I go Rummage right now, just Mystic Shot's the only thing that we could find. Uh, I, I guess we have to do it, though. There's only one Mystic Shot left in the deck. Wow. What a find. Man, that was that was clutch. <laughs> Saguma says you're too good at this game. That was pretty clutch. So we'll be playing the Reborn Grenadier discarding. Discarding that. Please no rally. Yeah, alright. So that's too bad. GG's. Guess I shouldn't have discarded the other 1-1, one, one, or I just I just need to play that other 1-1 one, one Poro earlier. Yeah, we got elusive with all those attacks. You know, four attacks <laughs> after one, two, three. I guess just three attacks, right? So three attacks after my one attack, three attacks doing 20 damage between my two. What's a fake gangplank, huh? Doesn't seem like a good boom baboon matchup. I know we make those flame chompers, but still, I don't really want the one health units. All right, well, all of these cards discard others. Three's a good amount of health. And this is why we didn't want to keep three ones. We don't want one health units for this matchup. Good attack. I was hoping they wouldn't attack. I'm not going to take the damage. These hands, I'm telling you. It's not worth looking for a Mystic Shot. allows me to have three blockers with burst beating of flame chompers. Wish we could have some Nexus healing in here. Four, 
Man, I just, like, having all these things have one health is just so rough against, like, Twisted Fate Red Card. Supposed to be now to three. We got a good, really good hand for our opponent again. I mean, that's puts me down to one. Yeah, I can't imagine we're winning this from one. These aggressive decks are just out racing us. Oh, and two. Great hand, though. Really good, really good quality hand. LP, we're at. So. Alright, Tristana, Poppy. So, this is going to be another aggressive attacking deck. We'll see if we're going to be able to stabilize. Piltover and Zahn with those two, huh? Hey, Velian. Yeah, we're playing just different Jinx Vi decks today. To celebrate Arcane coming out. This Boom Baboon hasn't really looked very good, because the, the Flame Chompers have looked useless, and the 3-1 body is just getting... Like, killed super, super easily. I could see just playing Jury Rig instead of this Boom Boom. Because then you also have to, like, spend two mana on the Boom Boom, too. And then you get this useless Flame Chompers. I wonder if they should just be Jury Rigs. What wondrous discoveries await below? Yeah. Yep, there's definitely some other... Uh, yeah, there's other champions. Yeah, you said Echo, Heimer. Um... Other champions in in there than what, what we're playing, but uh, just decided to go with um, Echo and Vi today. So I think they're the main characters, and they're the ones that a lot of people wanted to see. Yeah, I could definitely see taking out Boom Boom Boom. This card's really been poor. So I never want to spend two mana on it. That's been like the problem. We're just wasting a lot of mana on this card. I'd rather be doing other stuff. Okay, so we haven't played Jinx yet. Let's go ahead and play Jinx. We have a backup Jinx if they kill this one. Emperor's Dias. That's a good card to draw. We can't even cast three ones.
So assuming they just kill the Ballistic Bond. Oh, right, they can only do one damage. Okay. Volume play. No, come on. Oh, hey, how about that? <laughs> Got lucky. They discarded the correct Vi for us. Wow, and they conceded. Cause, all right, so our Vi was going to just... I probably just challenge like the 1-1. One, one, level that up, you know. And then, because challenging the 1-1 one, one allows my like 3 attack to have a better attack. And so on, and... Uh, yeah, how about that? <laughs> That's all we play here, is fun off-meta decks. Uh, Alright, Se Sejuani Gangplank. Okay, we can see how we do against this. Alright, not a bad hand. The thing is, like, like, here, I don't have anything right now to, like, play round one to keep them from attacking round one and doing damage to me and, and uh, going towards this level up. Yes, but they didn't have anything round one either. There's, there, yeah, there's no Jinx skin. I, was, I guess I was thinking that, like, the, the different card skins. There's no skin for either Jinx or uh, Vi right now. Cool. I, I really like that trade. Um, you know, the 3-1 the would die to a Mega Rain. So they took something of mine. I like killing this so they don't get like the free 1 damage to my Nexus. That's good. Oh, they took Ballistic Bot? Ballistic Bot's the perfect card for them to have created Ignition every single round. It's just the perfect card for them. I'm not going to lie, that hurts. That hurts a little bit. That really hurts. And that's not nothing new. The The last few times I've played a Ballistic Bot deck, it's been like the last two times now, every time I play it, I play against Yordle Grifter and they, you know, or, you know, play against that kind of thing and they always steal Ballistic Bot, like this deck. It's just the perfect card for them. I really want to play Get Excited and kill this Ballistic Bot. That's what I want to do. Alright, that's what we're going to do. That card's a problem. Major problem. It's probably already done its done its job. Yeah, they probably have enough cards now to, to no deal, keep dealing damage to my Nexus. One girl wrecking crew. All right. Kill that. That trades with the 3-3. Three, three. Because obviously you just have to kill Sejuani, right? Because otherwise you die. really hurt. <laughs> sure. Only the strong survive. You own what you take. Man, these hands these opponents are having are ridiculous. 
All right, one and three. All right, and finally, we have Zoe, Aurelian, Soul. I assume that this is a Targon's Peak deck. I think that's that's a fair assumption. I don't have any landmark removal. We're gonna have to get aggressive. This is one of the better hands we've had so far. We haven't had, you know, round one Zonite Urchin in any game. This is the first game that we've had that. Oh, but of course they have round one Zoe and they're attacking on round one, so. I guess that's also a thing. What? They just didn't attack? Okay. So I think the reason why they didn't... The only reason not to attack there is that they have a Targon's Peak in hand and they don't want to have that two mana card in hand that they could, you know, make cost zero, that they have, you know, they must have, like, Targon's Peak plus, like, some very, very important expensive cards. That's how that can make sense. Man, these things being O3s now. This is a big change. Oh. Drawn the landmark. Fight the signal fires. Destiny awaits. It's eleven. They don't want to block with either of these units. Cool. Alright, so we get rid get rid of one of them. So they're gonna have six mana again. <laughs> Never mind. Guess they don't have eight mana. Alright, let's play Jinx. Alright, so obviously we're open attacking before they play something super scary. We did hit the worst card in hand. Yeah, so now they're just trying to stay alive because now they have all the mana they want. But we put them down to four. So unless that free card's star shaping, we got ignition, get excited. So I think we got this. I'm pretty sure we got this. We did have a, you know, we had a really good hand. That was a, quite a good hand. Okay, GG's. Finally went Jinx aggro. And just went all upstairs. All right, two and three. All right, so two and three isn't, you know, like the best record or anything like that. Um, but it's it's definitely respectable, and we did play against some really good decks that had very good hands, and we're gonna lose some of those, and that's okay. You know, like we are playing, you know, a theme deck here, Jinx Vi, and so it's okay that we didn't, you know, perform perfectly against all of these top decks with their really good hands. So, um, you know, nothing wrong with a two and three record. I was pretty happy with everything in the deck, Not besides, I guess, like, Boom Baboon was, like, the one card that really underperformed that could see it just being Jury Rig, where if it's Jury Rig, you're happy to discard it, and you don't have to spend the two mana on it fir first. Uh, that last game, though, I think I think we had Boom Baboon that last game. No, maybe we didn't. On round two. No, no, we, we had the Fallen Rider, so. Yeah, that, that'd be, like, the one one thing, is maybe just make that Jury Rig, and then... Uh, you get that 1-1 one, one attack and, you, and block it and you don't have to worry about it. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it though for uh, some Arcane Noxus. We have two other Arcane decks. So if, if you're a little disappointed with this one, Jinx Vi, 
we got two other ones that should be strong. Um, they're not going to be like as good of Jinx decks as this. They're not going to be discarding our hand, but I think they should be good quality decks. So anyway, uh, make sure to watch for those as well. Um, but that's going to be it for Arcane Noxus. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.